Hello, welcome everybody. This is Dr. Bolad. Today I will talk to you about heart disease risk factors in women. For those who are new to my channel, I am a board certified cardiologist and interventional cardiologist. And here on this channel, you will find lots of inf information and education about heart health and heart disease. So if you are interested, don't forget to subscribe and switch on the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos that I post. So let's get started with this video about the cardiovascular risk factors in women. Cardiovascular disease is the number one cause of death worldwide. There are certain cardiovascular disease risk factors that are specific to women. Clinicians and patients may have gaps in their awareness of, recognition of, and preparedness to manage cardiovascular disease risks in women, especially atherosclerotic disease. Atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease includes four major areas. Coronary heart disease clinically manifested by myocardial infarction, angina pectoris, and coronary death. It is a common cause of heart failure. Cerebrovascular disease clinically manifested by stroke and transient ischemic attack. Peripheral artery disease clinically manifested by intermittent claudication. Aortic, atherosclerotic, and thoracic or abdominal aortic aneurysm. The presence of vascular disease in one of these territories significantly increases the likelihood of disease in other vascular distributions. Atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease is the leading cause of death worldwide in females and males, accounting for 4.8 million deaths in females in 2017. I will now talk about the cardiovascular risk factors specific to women. I will group them into traditional risk factors, pregnancy-associated risk factors, and non-pregnancy-related risk factors. Traditional risk factors. The general approach to atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease risk assessment and management in women is similar to that in men, as traditional risk factors are relevant for all adults. These include high blood pressure, diabetes mellitus, family history of coronary heart disease, elevated blood lipids, chronic kidney disease, and lifestyle factors such as smoking, unhealthy diet, and lack of exercise. Pregnancy-related risk factors. A number of adverse pregnancy outcomes are associated with increased subsequent cardiovascular risk. Thus, screening for and managing cardiovascular risk factors is an important component of care for patients who have experienced adverse pregnancy outcomes. These factors include high blood pressure of pregnancy, also known as hypertensive disorder of pregnancy, and includes preeclampsia, gestational hypertension, as well as chronic hypertension occurring during pregnancy. Hypertensive disorder of pregnancy is associated with increased risk of developing chronic high blood pressure after delivery, as well as increased risk of atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease. Diabetes developing during pregnancy also referred to as gestational diabetes, is associated with an increased risk of developing type 2 diabetes and atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease. Preterm delivery and delivery of infants with fetal growth restriction. Pregnant women who have a spontaneous delivery prior to 37 weeks of gestation have an increased risk of developing atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease when compared with those who deliver at term. Adverse cardiovascular outcomes also occur in women delivering an infant with fetal growth restriction. Placental abruption is associated with increased subsequent risk of maternal atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease. A spontaneous pregnancy loss. Women who have experienced miscarriage or stillbirth have elevated subsequent risk of cardiovascular disease, particularly coronary heart disease. Pregnancy loss is also associated with increased risk of developing high blood pressure and type 2 diabetes. 
It has to be noted that lactation has a protective effect. Observational data found that individuals who have lactated have more favorable subsequent cardiovascular and metabolic profiles and reduced cardiovascular risk compared with those who have not lactated. And now I will cover the non-pregnancy related cardiovascular disease risks. A number of conditions are more common in females and are associated with cardiovascular disease risk. These include timing of menarche. Either early or late menarche appears to be associated with future cardiovascular disease risk. Early menopause occurring at less than 40 years, either surgically, naturally or chemically is associated with increased risk of cardiovascular disease in women. Polycystic ovary syndrome, obesity, insulin resistance, impaired glucose tolerance or type 2 diabetes and dyslipidemia are common in patients with polycystic ovary syndrome and these metabolic disorders increase the risk of cardiovascular disease. Autoimmune disease such as rheumatoid arthritis Systemic lupus erythematosus and antiphospholipid syndrome are more common in females and are associated with increased risk of cardiovascular disease. Breast cancer studies identified an elevated risk of cardiovascular disease death in women with breast cancer. Several mechanisms have been proposed to explain the association between breast cancer and cardiovascular disease and this including direct adverse effect of cancer therapy on cardiac function, lifestyle perpetuations during and after treatment such as decreased physical activity and concomitant metabolic alterations and decline in cardiovascular reserve. Combined estrogen progesterone contraceptives is associated with increased cardiovascular risk. Menopausal hormone therapy is also associated with increased cardiovascular disease risk in women. If you have any question about what I presented to you today, then subscribe to my channel and share your question in the comment section below and I will reply to you. If you have a question that you would not like to share in public, then follow me on Twitter or Instagram at Dr. Bolad and then send me a private direct message and I will reply to you. If you found value in this video, then please like and share this video with family and friends. This is Dr. Bolad, helping you with your heart health. Thanks for watching and talk to you soon.